Howdy guys, uh, I guess I should probably test this before I make a recording, but hopefully Cam Studio will pick it up, because I'm pretty sure it will. I'm actually recording it right now, I don't know if that's, if that window records itself or not. Anyway, I thought I'd do a video on how I do my recording, because it differs from emulator to emulator, and to be perfectly honest, the way I record, only about 10% of LPers actually do it this way. I think most people use cam studio or they use some other form of screen recording such as hypercam 2 or uh, what's the other one or fraps some people use that although that's not really free but anyway but this is how i do it so i thought i'd show you so this is like well first a little overview of my desktop all my emulators are down here i got the super nintendo one I've got nestopia at fceu ultra that's my usual nes emulator got virtual boy advance that's game boy and this up here is actually my video capture software which I'll show you that a little later but I'm gonna have to get out the video camera to do that now ZSNES doesn't have the option to actually record the way I normally would so I don't usually use it but occasionally if I'm co-oping I have to so my usual emulator that I use is SNES 9X which you're not gonna be able to read that probably but it's pretty simple it's an easy emulator just go to file and load game you can bring up all your games here well, some of these are N64 games. I don't know why they show up in the menu, but for example, I could upload Contra, Contra 3, I mean, and it'll just load up the game like normally. And the way that I actually record is by dragging file, and this only works in SNES 9X. Some other emulators will have this option, but it might be in a different place. I'll show you that later. What I do is drag, and this is just for a Super Nintendo game, drag file down to this option, record AVI. And I click on that, and it'll ask me for a file name. So usually I use the same name every time, like say Contra 3, for example. And then I'll press enter. And if you already have a video that's named Contra 3, it'll pop up and ask you, this file already exists, do you want to overwrite it? And I'll say yeah. But I'll use the same name over and over again, so that way it overrides the previous video, and I don't end up with a bunch of videos on my computer. Because once I put it into Movie Maker, I'm going to convert it into a totally different video, so I'm going to have no need for the original video, so I can just delete it or override it. Now here it'll ask you video compression. I always use Microsoft Video 1. It's the second option down. And um, I don't know how any of the other ones work. This is the only one I've ever used because I get lag if I use any other one. So then I press OK, and now we're recording. Now the only problem with SNES 9X is when you record this way, you can't actually hear the sound as you're recording. But you will hear the sound when you play it back. So you just have to play without sound. And that's pretty much all there is. So I'm not going to play much here. I'm just going to, you know, even now, since I'm recording two videos at once, the emulator video and the Cam Studio video, I'm getting a little bit of lag here. It's not too bad, though. My computer is pretty amazing. Anyway, this is just a test run, so let me pause now. And to stop the recording, you just drag down File to Stop AVI Recording, which is directly under the Record AVI option, so simple enough. Now you just X out, or if you want to, make sure you save your state before you do that. Now I X out of the thing. Oh, I should have probably shown you... Ugh, shut up, chair. I should have shown you something else, something else I neglected to show you. Just remember what I said about recording. Now this is how I record my voice, is with Record Pad, which is a different program that um, normally I have it actually down here. It's um, it's the way I have it set up. It comes on automatically when I start my computer. So and this is what it looks like. Record Pad is really simple. All you do is press Record to record, record, and then stop. I mean, it's that simple, so all I gotta do, for example, maybe I'll show that to you a little more explicitly, like if I was going to record Chrono Trigger right now and fight the boss, um, what I would do is file, record AVI, Chrono Trigger, and since, um, since, since ct.avi is already one of my options, again, you probably can't see that, but... Anyway, so I'll press the save and it'll ask me, CT AVI already exists, do you want to replace it? I'll say, um, yeah, I do. So then it'll ask me for the compressor, and like usual, I'll do Microsoft Video 1. 75, you can move that up and down if you want a little bit. I don't usually mess with it, but 
if I want the video to look a little better, I might move it up to 80. Or if I'm having some lag issues, I might drop it to 70 or 65 or something. Anyway, and this is when I push record on record pad. Record here, record here. And basically both recordings start within a second of each other, which is not really an issue. So then, you know, I start recording, do whatever I'm doing here. I don't care about beating the boss. I'm just doing a little here. So we'll record for a few seconds, hit the boss a few times, and then we'll stop. Okay, good. I'm not going to let him hit us. That's all for that recording. So then I'll push stop over here and stop every recording. Now the next step is to open Windows Movie Maker, which I don't have. Windows Movie Maker is what I use to edit my videos. It comes with basically all Windows Pro. I don't, I don't know what to tell you if you're using a Mac or something else, but I have it in my start menu right up at the top because I use it the most. SNES second most and Virtual Boy Advance third. Anyway, so you open Windows Movie Maker and I already have a video in here, so let me get that out for a second. Now it'll ask you to import videos, which, you know, anyone who's used Windows Movie Maker knows what we're doing here. Now I just have to find the video that I just recorded, which that's going to be a matter of where you decided to put it. Mine always puts it in a really hard to get to place. I have to go to desktop, to administrator, to uh, downloads, to SNES 9X, to movies, and it'll be right there, CT. That's the video I just recorded, so I'll click on that and import it, and that'll bring it up in here. Not all Windows Movie Maker versions that I've used will allow you to use AVI files. Ever since I got Vista, I've been able to use AVIs in Windows Movie Maker, but not always. Now, um, the record pad, actually, what you'll want to do, depending on where you chose to put it when you installed it, mine is in Documents slash Record Pad. And here's all my record pad recordings. It starts at Untitled 880, Untitled 881, Untitled 882. This is how many of these I've actually done. I'm up to my 888th recording with it. So I'll click on that and import that. Then I'll bring the two down here together, like so. And you'll be able to see down here um, the voice, the voice recording. So usually what I'll do, well usually I start with a couple seconds of silence so I can see where the video recording starts. Then I'll click up here, not on the video or anywhere there, just click on the timeline up here to just a little fraction of a second before the voice recording starts. And I'll split it. You'll have to make sure and have this selected when you push the split button. Because if you have this selected, it's going to split the video there. But you don't want to do that, so edit and undo that. Then I just right click and remove this and drag this back to the beginning. So now the voice is going to start a few seconds into the video. And then if I need to synchronize it, you know, if the voice is a little bit ahead of the video, then all I have to do is just clip out some of the video and move the video back so that it's even with the voice again. Now Movie Maker is kind of trippy because when you remove part of a video, it automatically moves the video ahead of it back to that spot. But when you remove part of your voice recording, you'll have to manually like drag it back to where it needs to be to fill in the empty space in between. And so that's pretty much it when it comes to SNES recording and that's how I do it. So um no I don't want to change I don't want to save that. So then we have let me see, what else we got? Okay, so Virtual Boy Advance recording. This is like when I record Mother 3 and that kind of stuff. Or Visual Boy Advance, I guess that's not Virtual Boy, oh my god. Anyway, to open a ROM here, it's pretty much the same thing. File to open ROM, and then choose your ROM, which is just for uh, shits and giggles. I'll use my Mother 3. Now, if you actually, you can actually drag this out so that it's bigger, but if you open a new ROM, it's going to automatically resize it. So open your ROM first and then drag it out. Otherwise, you're just having to drag it out two times, and it's too much of a pain in the ass. So I'll just load my state here. And, um, okay, to record in Visual Boy Advance, it's a little bit different. The Record AVI option for this one is under Tools. You'll drag Tools down to Record, and it'll say Start Movie Recording here, Start AVI Recording, Start Sound Recording. So I just do Start AVI Recording. And the same as before, it'll ask you for file names. It just uses the same one again and again, which I was using M3. You don't have to put .avi because it'll put that automatically, so you save that. 
And the same as the other one, it'll ask you for the compression. Again, I use Microsoft Video One. Then I make sure to have Record Pad open so that I can start the recording when I push up, when, I, when I push OK. It's going to start the recording here. So I'll make sure and have Record Pad open so I can go boom, boom. Now it's recording my voice and the game, and I can move around. And it's the same as before. So I guess I could have played back the video file, but then it just would have been a pain in the ass. Your attention, please. You appear quite exhausted there, Lucas, but the real fun is just about to begin. Shut up. Okay, alright. So when you want to stop recording, do the same as before. Drag tools to record, to stop every recording, and stop over here. And then you can just exit out of them. Be sure to save your state if you're doing that. And again, Windows Movie Maker, like before, 